Minister of National Defense Hulusi Akar met with his Greek counterpart Nikos Panagiotopoulos within the framework of his contacts at the NATO Defense Minister's meeting. The two ministers agreed on the importance of dialogue and regular meeting. NATO Nuclear Planning Group NPG, meeting was held in an environment where Russia frequently emphasized using its nuclear capacity in the context of the Ukraine war. NATO defense ministers discussed both the alliance's nuclear deterrence and Moscow's threat of resorting to nuclear weapons. While the nuclear plans are being reviewed in the light of the threat perception, there will be a full nuclear show of strength in the coming weeks. Next week, NATO will conduct its scheduled steadfast noon nuclear deterrence exercise before the invasion of Ukraine. The exercise, which will last for about a week, aims to ensure that NATO's nuclear capabilities remain active. While the current conjuncture draws attention to the routine exercise, the fact that Russia will carry out its own nuclear exercise during or immediately after the NATO exercise makes the picture more interesting. Up to 50 aircraft, including warplanes capable of carrying nuclear warheads, are expected to participate in the NATO exercise to be held in Belgium. Although comments were made that such an exercise could further escalate tensions in the current environment, NATO did not choose to cancel it. If we suddenly cancel a long-planned routine exercise because of the war in Ukraine, it would be a very false signal," NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said recently. Emphasizing that they took Russia's threats seriously yesterday, Stoltenberg said, we continue to be on the alert. NATO has so far detected no change in Russia's nuclear situation.